Welcome guys. So, welcome guys. Let's start to design this complex part in our Kitten software. So the name of this part is you can see here. Actually, it is a 3D model of this drill press housing. The name of this part is drill press housing. So let's start. Let's start to design this part in our Kitten software. So first of all, open Kitten. Go to start mechanical design part design and give her name as what is the name of this actually drill press sounds and make sure to add this all initial planes three planes because we are not using this plane to create our part and create one point here set as origin insert axis system to this point and let's start to, let's start to design this drill press housing part in our kitchen software so here you can see all orthographic views and all front view top views are given to this video so let's start to design first of all we will create this part so make it zoom here Here you can see if we have to put it first of all this all part. So let's start to create this part. So go to sketch position here, select this zero plane. Before going to this, make sure you are in a part body fan work object and now go to sketch positioning, select the zero plane, project your point as this orientation should be parallel to this line to get proper orientation. And now let's start to let's start to design this part. So first of all create this leg structure here like this rough sketch we have to create actually when it on mistake is done so again go to this profile and create this leg structure And make sure to close this profile and now let's start to do dimension to this here you can see from this to this distance for this is 216 from here to here this is 256 And actual length of this part is let's see from here to this to this distance is given as 251 to go from here to here which is 251 and angle between them is also given as 1283 from here here it's given as 128 and length we we have to take from this you can see from here to this the length of this part is if you can see from this to this this part to this part the distance is given as 482 so choose from this part to this part value is 482 and make sure to make this symmetrical to this vertical axis now you can see this sketch is fully constrained and this all fillet value we are giving at last so now exit this to the sketch workbench and create one top sketch view of this part like this so to create this go to sketch position select this xy plane here projected point as this 
orientation should be parallel to this line to get proper orientation now create one simple rectangle here and as we know this distance and this distance are coincident so we can consider this and this distance and also this and this distance now let's start to put dimension to this also here you can see from this to this distance is going as 2 to 4 its value for this is 2 to 4 we have to delete this line because we have to create a separate line make sure this is symmetrical to this axis and for this value is given at 244 once again make this line symmetrical to this vertical axis and you can see from here to here distance is given so let's create one line up to some more here we can take so the distance from here to here it is given and you can see up to this is 102 so between here and here 102 from here to here it is 80 we have one second one line which is vertical and distance for this is 80 and now join this from here to here and this this gate we found other side also so select this on vertical slant and go to mirror command here and select this vertical axis now you can see this sketch is fully constrained now exit this to this sketch workbench and now make sure to use this solid combine solid command from this sketch based or which of that and before that make sure you are in a part body to find what you now click on the solid combine definition and select this as first and this set second make it true here and press ok and now you can see this exactly sketch is created to this part now we have to create this pocket like a structure here so to create this go to sketch position and again select this header plane here projector point as this orientation should be parallel to this part axis to get proper dimension select this cut part by sketch plane from this visualization type and now create this part perfectly so before create this we need to one axis here and this axis is present from here to it is you can see it is 91 This is the same system as 91. And now let's try to create only this one side of part. So here you can see this like structure here. And it's like this. And here you can see this. And now vertical and make combine this part. And here you can see. From center, this distance is so half of 48, and this is 2 is actually 
this part. This is 62, this is half of 62 we have to do. And you can see here the angle between 10 is given as. This angle is 50. 100 is given here means now. This half is came as now. This half is come as 50 and this half is come as 50. Let's make zoom to this part so you can see clearly. From this to this, I'm assuming distance is given. I'll make this horizontal give here value as it and this should be this is 45 this also 45 and this also 45 Again, one line here for here for here. Go to good trim here. Trim this part which we don't want. And here you can see value for this is 4 and angle between them is 20 this is 20 Now we have to complete this part. So to make this complete, just give me one this dimension. Make this line horizontal. Make this should be coincident to this. And let's start to draw from this dimension is from here to here. Dimension is is given as eight. This is twenty eight. From this to this dimension sixty two. Now make sure to close this bar to do this this of the small direction. Make sure to close this part from close this case because we have to create a close the sketch here, not any open sketch. And now, and now you can see this sketch is fully constrained. And now, this is the studio sketch for pinch. And now, go to the sharp command, select this sketch, and give axis as this sketch axis. I'll just view here, press OK. Now you can see this exactly part is created in this sketch here. So now move to our next which part we have to create. Let's check first. Actually, we can see some pocket we have to go here. So to do pocket means means we have to remove some part here. So to remove this part, go to sketch vision again, select this face and go to press OK. Now we have to create here some part. And 
and we have to create one circle here which is coincident to this vertical axis and radius value for this is even as 118 so change from this dialog box to radius and here radius dimension is 118 and from this to this dimension is given as from here to here it is 3 5 but so this circle is present from here to this 3 5 ever start to create our next part we have to create we have to add make project terms of this part and actually we have to create one part or something like delete value here having 98 radius value so first of all create one circle here having radius value as 98 I think yes this is tangent to somewhat like this so make this circle to support tangent to this right and now tangent to this circle now you can see this kind of structure is come here and exact this circle we want at all side so select this circle go to mirror command and select this one and now we have to, we have to trim some extra material from here we have to trim these unwanted lines from here so go to quick trim, select this inside line, this also. This line also, this line also. create one complete this sketch from this like this we have to complete this to this sketch actually we have to close this to this sketch and now go dimension to this now you can see this full sketch is fully functional now we can do this to the sketch working from here and you put it command here select this cage make sure to select here of the next I make it preview here and you can see this part is also home just select plane here select this Or else you can do dimension change of yes, it is a full lesson. Right? Yes. Now, okay. okay, now you can see this material is removed by using this pocket color. And now here you can see some dark values also given to this part. So this side to some degree dark is given and from this side also one degree dark is given to this part. And now you can see this also to one degree dark is now let's not to be dark to this part. To be dark select this drop here and select this common vertical lines here 
this is sorry now use your neutral element that is bottom part now make sure where it is coming let's make it preview here actually you can come this side but we want that other side so make it here and now make it TV now give one degree value here and now you can see this part is draft ray actually with a one degree dropping now let's start to do some threads here here you can check you have to do five five fillets now go to fillet command each fillet definition select this this one part and do five degree draft here and let's check next where we have to do five degree draft here also we have to do final degree so select again this edge fillet select this also this all part this all edge we have to select first now make it preview here that's okay and let's check is any another fillet we need to do or not now you can check all fillets are given Now you can see here also fillet we have to do actually value for this is again also same to select again this edge give this face and this all line also and select this also and this also and give make it preview here and now you can see the all edges are filleted In one way of missing here. Now you can see the actual part thickness of this. This is given as 5 degree thickness. So we have to make this part as yellow. So to make this all come inside, go to shell command here, select this space and this space also. Do here and let five. Now you can see from inside all five main particles created. Just go to section here. Check this section. Now you can see this exactly point is created from using this shape now. Next, we have to give some support to this. So, to create this support like structure, go to sketch positioning here again. Select this x-ray plane. Now, make sure to do project origin as the projected point. And this is parallel, this line. Now press here. Okay. Now we have to create this select structure here. Here you can see this select structure we have to create here. So 
so to create this we start to with we have to we have to go to our project is on outside part this on we have to project so to use this command again just make it double click you can see that some more values coming here so to undo this on operation and make it once again double click this silicon to this outside edges Here you can see we have created a new degree this on. So come with this all operations. Again select this part and select this only so it is easy to us. Now delete this inside all values. This inside it is because we don't want this inside, we want only outside. Now hide this first of all this body. Now drag your mouse and select this small line. Move it. Offset chroma. Come this operation tab. Now you can select single single value to make offset. Select this first of all, draw set this one more here. Move here we can take and here you can see the offset 27 offset from all now. Give me here an offset from all 27. So we have to give minus 27. Now it is coming this again go to offset select this as also give here value as minus twenty six again select this give here again as minus twenty six again select this give here value as minus Again, select this give me your value or else we can complete this by our work. Now we have to check how much clear value we have to give here also. You can see the clear values are not given here. You check from here to here, turn to see the clear value we have to give. And now just use one go to print this and select this string. And now just complete this part. Make sure to complete all. And now go to line here, select one to this. Now 
Again, select this footage to make complete this full sketch profile. Now, continue to do the sketch working from here. And I'll head over this part first. Now, use pad command here, select this sketch. And up to what value we have to change. So, here you can see why I am up value we have to change. Now here is pillar value we have to do, so select go to edge pillar, select this edge and give here a value of 27. And now select all these edges, all these four edges from here. Now make a few here, make this part isometric. Now you can see we have joined the, joined this all the pillar value here. Now we have to create this deep like a structure here. Here you can see these are three ribs we have to create to this part so to create this part we can create this rib in our next video so don't forget to watch our next video